had warned them for, for decades, you know, that they should stop this uh, expansion of NATO. Lies from Mr. Lavrov is nothing new. It, he was, it was a very ill-tempered appearance and he was quite rude to his host, which, uh, which uh, I think is uh, disrespectful. Lies from Mr. Lavrov is nothing new. He has been lying through his teeth throughout his career. So all these points are not to be taken into attention because he basically, again, repeating some of the points that the whole world saw are wrong. Indian media was there in Kiev to see how Russian tanks were coming across the border, how Russian tanks were killing our people, destroying our cities. They saw it with their own eyes and tell, told you the reality of it. There was no NATO forces there at all. NATO withdrew from Ukraine completely before the start of the invasion. And the reality is what Russia has done is shown to the world its true face in Ukraine. Death, murder, destruction. That's the cost of imperialism. And India sadly knows too well. And they've done it to us now. The reality is this war will end at that point when Russia leaves Ukraine alone. We never want anything else. We want Russia to leave us alone. It, he was, it was a very ill-tempered appearance and he was quite rude to his host, which, uh, which uh, I think is uh, disrespectful. Um, uh, secondly, the Russians invaded Ukraine in 2014 already by uh, taking off part of Eastern territories and per taking peninsula of Crimea and, and uh, claiming it was their own. That was not recognized by anybody. There's no, there's, as far as I know, there's no a nation in the, in the world, no state apart from the rogue state like North Korea and in Iran, maybe who, re who recognized the, the, um, the, this fact. So the war was dragging on since, since then. And then Putin invades the country and says uh, that Ukraine has no right to exist, although it is a recognized member of the United Nations and the Russian Federation recognized its existence in 1991. Uh, the, yeah, so it has no right to exist. Ukrainians are not a people. Ukrainian is not a language. And uh, so he basically repeats the colonial aggression which uh, started in the 18th century. But this is not an 18th century. Uh, um, it is not a 19th century. It is not even the first half of the 20th century, which I don't need to remind anybody from India. This is a different world. Once uh, the country regains independence and has its own elected government, and has normal democracy, elections every few years, change of power, change of president, change of government, uh, and is recognized by, uh, by other co communities in the world, uh, and did not cross its borders, because not the Ukrainian army went to invade Moldova or Belarus or Russia or Poland, it's the Russian army invaded.